Hello, I am AOD Nightshade, and welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend. Um, last time was an experience, to say the least. It was uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't think I need to explain it anymore. So let's just dive headfirst into whatever, whatever the hell else this has for us. All right, so. Er, uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okosan only has time only for the track team. Oh, I didn't realize Okosan was in my, uh, my class. That's cool. That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Hepatism. Oh, don't we get to vote? Nope! Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Okay, that's kind of strange. Tragic backstory, Pigeon? Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Uh-oh, it's my first choice. <laughs> See, I could join the student council, but then I would be with that prick, because fuck that guy. He, I, I really hate pompous assholes. I hate the, the really rich kid pompous assholes. In any kind of visual novel. Especially, especially if they have that stupid laugh. Stupid laugh. <laughs> um, I could, I could go with the track team. And then I would be right alongside Okosad. And that right there would be, uh, <laughs> some, some gold stuff. Or I could go with the library staff. And I could see more about Mr. Shy, leave me alone kid. And... Uh, the what his deal is. I feel like Okasan's the obvious choice. So you know what? I hope this doesn't lock me out, cause that would suck if it locks you out that early. You know what? Can I save here? No, I can't. Shit. <laughs> um. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go with the library staff. Uh, that's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! That's WIS. 1. Vitality. 800. Charisma. 5. A oh, wisdom. <clears throat> well, today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. You choose what class you go to? What the fuck kind of school is this? It must be nice. Uh, math class, gym class, music class. Well, honestly, out of all of these, I would choose music because uh, I like math, but fuck math class. And then, uh, I'm, I'm kind of scrawny. So, <laughs> gym isn't exactly my fortitude either. Uh, we sang Birdie Melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Did I just whistle the whole time? Level up! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God. I leveled up! Charisma increased by five! Woo! Oh, I see what all those do. Okay, so wisdom is math class, vitality is gym, and then music is charisma. That makes sense. I'm on rep uh, receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. 
Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Pause. There it goes. There's the puns again. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Am I? I'm not a bird, though. Am I? <laughs> Planning to jump off the building. The window there is a rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Oh, cool. Dring. Nageki, when did you? I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking, I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Um. You should go outside. No, books are nice. Books are nice. You should read. Read. It strengthens your mind. That was convincing. <laughs> they are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché. Touché. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Oh. That was the, that was the sound that it made when, like, a CG came up, so I was expecting a CG. Wait, I live in a cave? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Can I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike! We stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Da da. Okay, so I can talk to Ryota, Takuya, Okosan, or Kazuaki. I, I gotta save the best for last. I gotta no. If I don't, if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna get anything. <sighs> I'm never gonna talk to you because you're a prick. I don't care what kind of tragic backstory you have. You're a prick. And Ryota, sure, he's kind of cool. Kazuaki, it teacher, so... me. oko -san. I'll do it. Fuck it. I wonder where oko went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Oh, cool! It's not here. The pudding is not here! Ah. Uh, it's missing? Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Cool! No. oko believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Not how things work. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? No, wait, a <laughs> pudding that lives? I don't think there's a pudding that lives at all. Cool! Okosan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. Bye, Roadrunner. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? The pudding pudding? Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend... Hmm. Well, I might as well do at least one of them. Oh shit! I meant to take. God damn it! Does it show my mouse? It does show my mouse. You, sh you seen? You seen? You seen? I clicked on that gym. You know. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking. At, uh, so much thinking outside of the box. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I thought I, re I read that wrong, then I stopped and had to reread it. And then I realized the pun. And it hurt. It hurt. It hurt me. <sighs> oh god, my vision got blurry there. Um, I feel like I'm gonna fly out off the handle. This is what Mozart is all about, I guess. Oh my god. I wonder what those wings felt like. They look like they're wearing armigans on their heads. I have no idea what the fuck that word means. Like before, I would... I don't understand that word. Ah, no, go away. Fuck you. Do you seek to mock the great masters, Lobon? 
Philistine. Philistine. Level up. There it is, yeah. There, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it has always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Ha ha ha! Cool! Okosan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okosan. What about you, Sakuya? Can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's... it is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? <laughs> the general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Wait, general? I wasn't expecting that from a pompous kid. Um, I don't think that's... Whatever. Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Yota's doing a three-legged race. Okusan's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Yuta might be running the first aid tent. Or Yuya. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Who is Yuya? Chu? Somebody else. Today's the sports festival! I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... <laughs> Go to the library! Fuck this place! Um, three-legged race, marathon, cheerleaders, first aid tent, library. This, I, I feel like this is so fast-paced that I want it, I don't get a chance to really know any of them. I don't. Fuck it. Cool! You're running the marathon too, Eddie? Yep, someone needs to act as the female representative. representative. Good luck, Okata. Cool, cool! Never worry, never fear. Okasan never brings up the rear. Swift as the wind as usual. I think he came in first, but I can't see from here. I better do my best too. Am I a run road runner now too? The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. Uh oh. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Awesome! Yes! Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes Not too- mm, sorry, no. Nope, sorry. You did badly. Oh. Try harder next time, okay? I don't wanna study. Studying for losers. Me. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Ugh. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Eddie. Brian... Brian? The fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> Brian won his seventh poultice... Holt Pulitzer. Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room uh, pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. 
He began where birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. That's that's not a good idea. That was a terrible idea. I hate him. Fuck you, Brian. Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that pause and transition? Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Lunch is nearly over. I do it. Eddie. Dude. I'd better hurry back to class. Hello, Everbert. Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves, underwings, and bellies are light, so they look pretty upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? O Okosan and Sakuya are... I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Okosan. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible! I mean, Okasan is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Okasan kind of went for the jugular, and you tried to pull them apart, and Okasan used wing attack on you. <sighs> yeah, yep. You're our only hope now, Eddie. <laughs> That's him dying. Cool, cool! Okosan will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word. I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Cool! Okosan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Side with Sakia. Sad with Okasan. Scold them both. Really, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dab your eye. Side with Okasan. Sakia, that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okasan is talking about doesn't mean you can just start slurring him. You. Are you siding with this mongrel rebel? Aren't you supposed to be a human? Cuckoo! Okosan is resolved. Okosan will end this now. He drops slow and prepares to strike with all his might. Cuckoo! Oh my god. Giga Duril Breka! Okasan crashes into Sakuya with a spinning body slam. Sakuya goes flying out the hallway, out, out into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Cool! Okasan is a match for any aristocrat. Cool, cool! Okasan is a, mask, a match for the mighty giants themselves. He puffs up. Wait. The Giants was capitalized. I don't think normally Giant would be capitalized unless he's talking about a thing. Is he talking about, like, the New York Giants? That's all I thought about. That's weird. I don't even like sports. Eh. He puffs up his chest and swags... Swags. His way out of the classroom like a real gangsta pigeon. I cannot... I don't know if I can take this game anymore. Holy shit. This is, um, this isn't interesting. Wait, class is about to start. Okasan, come back. Break is over. <laughs> hmm. Today is a good day. 
I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Store. Infirmary. Cafeteria. I'm not going to the infirmary. Infirmary. Because... She was kind of creepy. So the store of the cafeteria. I have an idea. I had a coin here. Ah! She's a Pokemon coin. Metagross. Oh yeah. Oh shit. And Tails. Ah, uh, I didn't pick which one. <laughs> Fuck. Um, okay, store is heads and cafeteria is tails. It's tails again. Cafeteria. Clicked it. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me. One half dead fried... Half dead fried rice, please. Yum, my favorite. Oh, God. I accidentally picked the Uncle Sun. Cool! No. This is wrong. A fake. A vicious lie. Familiar voice indeed. Cool! This is not pudding. I know. You said... Wait, I know. You said, so come on. Let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. That punctuation's a little bit off. Fucking me up. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Uncle-sense saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow! Cut it out, Uncle-san! Cool! Release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. Help me, Eddie. Um. Give it to me, let him go. Oh. To stop him or not to stop him? That is the question. Really, he can't, he can't, he can't go fucking crazy. Leave it to me, Ryota. My hunger gatherer blood boils. Ah! Oh! No! The Beast Queen shows her true colors. Pull out, pull out! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Okasan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Ah, safe at last. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Maybe. Today is an elective day! What should I do? Attend! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to math class. I gotta, I can't fail. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. <clears throat> now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Wait, did he fall asleep too? Is this math class or nap time? I think it's nap time. That was real effective. Leveled up! Wow, let me increase my wisdom by five? Shit. Fuck, that means it's not going to be an even five ever. Hey, it's Tanebata! Oh, God. I... I don't know if it's sad that I know what that is. Or... Or not, because I'm... I, I'll... I'm a weeb, but... <sighs> whatever. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make, make a wish. Yay, wishes! So essentially, if you couldn't figure it out with Tanabata, you go up to the bamboo trees. Um, typically, there's a sacred one. and you uh, Or a sacred section. And then you uh, 
write down a wish and wrap it to them um, during the night. Wow. There are... There are... There are... Wow, there are lots of... Lots here already. Any birdie I know. May mother stay healthy this year and may my stomach get better. Yota. That's Uncle Sans? What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, become a famous artist. <laughs> what the fuck kind of wishes are these? I kind of kind of don't want to do any of these. I'm a very humble dude, really. I mean, when it comes down to it, I just want to survive. And be happy. But... I guess I don't need to worry about ruling the world. I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello. Is that you, Awesome? Yes, it is. Miss Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Ha ha ha. Yes, please, sir. Yes, please. All right. Mr. Nanaki demonstrates some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. What? Oh, wait, wait. Wasn't he a narc narcoleptic in the beginning or something? I don't remember. Your house is very rustic, awesome. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir, see you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was that just my imagination? Hmm. Hmm. Today is an elective day. What should I do? A ten. Six wisdom is a pretty shitty stat, so... Tough to up that up. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hmm. Hard to say. It may never help you at all, awesome. But... Only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. That's kind of true. I I can respect that idea. Integral, integral calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. I agree with that statement too. Because fuck calculus. Yeah, what happened? Today is swim class. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart race. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay then. Oh, oh man. Cuckoo? Eddie is a human. Can you still swim? Actually, doves shouldn't be able to swim. Most birds can't swim. Yup! Oh! Okasan challenges you to a race then. Okasan has never swum against, swum, swum against a hominid. So, you're fast in the water as well as on land? Cuckoo! Naturally! Okasan is the fastest in all things. Alright then, let's go. Get set, go! <laughs> Okasan is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has stopped ringing in my ears. That That's not swimming! 
Cool, cool, cool! Okosan is victorious. You are slow, Eddie. And so, I learned that I would need to redefine my concept of swimming, hoping to defeat Okosan. Yeah. We got our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Awesome! Sir? You didn't do too badly, I think. Y yes You... Never mind. You did badly. Sorry. Oh. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I have to study more from now on. <laughs> Kinda lame. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems... Seem long, and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading spree. Today's the closing ceremony. So there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nage? Please be quiet in the library. Hello! You're rather really noisy today. Do you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. He replies from his corner. Somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh. The books he's holding. That's a signed reading for this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the viewer. Like all assigned readings. The whole concept is insane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what you read next. What to read next. Okay. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... Oh, here comes... <laughs> Orehato. Is that supposed to be a joke on Oreimo? Or, um, for those of you who are not familiar with what that means, um, it translates, the full name, that's the, the shortened version, the full name translates to, my little sister can't possibly be this cute. Let's see what we got on the other one. Night on the Galactic Railroad. This one's funnier. <laughs> what about my little Nico bar can't be this cute? I liked it. I've ne never heard that name before. What is it? It's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredibly soon dead a Nicobar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother and I see. He sounds extremely uninterested. Don't look down on light novels. Kiri Nico isn't cute. Oh my god. Kiri no Oh the reference. Alright. Moving on. It's easy to fall out of practicing a fat lazy during summer vacation. A hunter gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. I found a shrine. Cool. And I, what? The fuck? Ah, uh, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start a vacation. I wonder how far I can run. Or uh, how far I ran. I always look tr lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stopping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing in instinct. Sun setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey. You. Me? The fuck are you? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? 
A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. What's with this crazy music? Probably the coolest music they've played so far. It's weird. Her wing is rested on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow just isn't any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah. I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that's determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. A little small, but we both should fit, I think. Th thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Toshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. Okay. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take. That would be the end of both our lives. May seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. The far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you'll know what you're talking about, but at this rate I might get home running fast or get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is thirty kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so he putted along at Azami's hypercautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Think? Still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll... Get a job? Forget it. Of course I gotta get a job. Need that money. Get that gooch. Um, I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at new- Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet, a true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara, Kenza Budo. I am the owner of the Torimi, Torimi Cafe. I'm Awesome Eddie! <laughs> Welcome, Miss Eddie. I had expected a human. Or I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not need to see... I, I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to! After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer, then, Miss Eddie. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow, then, Miss Eddie. Get up, phone. <clears throat> Today's my first day working at Mr... Urushihara's. Urushihara. 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 Cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Eddie. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, but please ask if you can't find something. 
He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my ha- Excuse me? Ryota! Um, I saw the flyer at the station and- Ryota? E eddie w What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Eddie. Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... I like this place and I want to give it up. But Ryota needs to take care of his mama. He's got a job already. Um, I'm sorry, Ryota, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Eddie. I've got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here, and if you are looking for someone later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Eddie. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A bud... Budgigar. Budgigar. Never heard of that type of bird. A budgigar steps in the door. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags. Maybe a white peacock. Docks are annoying. Overrated. <laughs> Welcome! Would you like a bath? Or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urushihara. I'll take Kinzaboro. Hey. Wait a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Eddie, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? I've wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dreams come true, and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Eddie, right? That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. A new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. Shall I make some coffee to celebrate? Please, sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of tea. Or coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? I stayed out on the town for too long and it's late. On my way of- on my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you? What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkept pigeons. You go to St. Pigeon Nations, don't you? I bet a rich girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Oh god, I just realized they're called pugjins. Rich little girl going to a fancy school, thinks she's so great. Good. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but Rakta's I've just met all look the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Ish. They buff up their chests, threateningly. 
Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little. They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Yeah. Fucking put You step on them. They're pigeons. Slam thud. Yeah. The work of a moment. Some birdie flit, flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are all knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Azami? That was close, Eddie. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the f... Who are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing takoyaki lady. T takoyaki? Don't screw with us! They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not gonna take this from a finch and a human. Take this! Yeah! Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick! So, so cool! Your sparrow kick is super cool, Azami! Don't relax just yet. This is where the real fight starts. Azami fluttering majestically, uh, magnificently, under the glow of the neon lights and me gleefully punching the daylight out of the pumpkins. <laughs> what in the fuck is this? Fighting back to back. Now that's trust. Oh shit. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite? Uh-oh. Who can I invite? Ryota? Sakuya? Fuck no. Nagaki? Okasan? Kazuaki? I don't know who I want to invite. I think it's honestly between Nageki, Nageki and uh, Okosan, because those are the two that I've pretty much interacted with the most. So I'm on either one of their routes. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff. You know what? I'm pretty sure somebody told me, or I've heard, that there's a middle ground. Okay, anyway, I'm pretty sure I heard that there was uh, a middle ground where if you don't pick anyone, they kind of give you a bleh ending. So, or at least that makes sense to me because that's in like any visual novel. Okasan's entertaining, but I, I think I'm gonna go with Nagaki. I'll invite Nagaki. He seems he needs to get out more. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go to the library and I'd go look in the library if the school were already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn learn more about him. Though he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. I'm pretty sure that would be the same response for anyone. Time sure flies when I'm in here. See you all around, Kenzaboro. Oh, hey, Eddie. Rabu, finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out of the door. Here, this is your tip. It's... The magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So a young man from Osaka can do it too. What? <laughs> See y'all around. Good day to you, Rabu. <sighs> I don't know what to expect from this. I really don't. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Eddie? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. 
Is there any Tanjiro left? Of course. Here you are. I believe that's a type of tea. Hmm. Tanjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Hmm. By the way, Mr. Urushihara. Yes. Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He likes to come here and relax before work. Bujgar, who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a well-careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheels. Um, hmm. I haven't met another careful driver recently. Or haven't I met another careful driver recently? One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss the place. Thank you for everything, Miss Eddie. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss Eddie is a student, and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer, ho summer, summer homework. <laughs> Ooh! Doing the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Eddie. At least, Kenzaburo ain't going anyway. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of this cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city. An island of soothing parakeet. An island of soothing parakeet. Key of urban life. Ah, oh, God, the way they throw those in there. Oh, parakeet paradise. Ah. The puns, I'm not understanding them at first, and they're fucking me up because I'm taking them too seriously. Ah! <sighs> it's kind of a pity that so few come in here. Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege, now can I? When, I, when did I become your protege? Okay. Yay! Have a seat, please. Uh, Azami, is that you? <laughs> Her expression suddenly hardens. Feels like the cafe is going to burst. Feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Do, do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this. Left us all behind, have you? Azami, I... How do you think I've felt these past six months? Looks ready to fly at him at any moment. Uh, um, Azami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I remember your sexy, raptorious eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Yeah, that's what I thought. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't nobody gonna hurt us back. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies. Oh my god. Would have followed you to the ends of the earth. And we all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. What? When you ride? ride on the inside. You're pretty famous for your strong ideals. 
riding with the soul as wild as any other gang but never breaking the law you were my hero but a hero doesn't run away and you did as soon as I confessed to you you were gone done with the gang tales on to the love story Azumi I can't tell I've hurt you I'm sorry but tension crackles in the air only Mr. Urushihara remains exactly as he was when it all started, slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So Mr. Ravu used to lead a biker gang, and his real fake name is Hosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Zami? A little late for that. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like a Mr. Fava Bean. M Mr. Fava Bean? I have no, no response for that. This, it fits so well. I'm like fat men. All my love for you bought up long ago. Azami subjects Mr. Fava Bean to a harrowing tr tr trade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? I should bring up... A zombie's martial arts, a zombie scooter. I was thinking be the scooter. He's a biker. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten, Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Eddie? I think you still think about it. I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it! Your scooter. Right outside it. It's emblazoned with his name. <laughs> I saw it when we first met, writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him. I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava, Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, Eddie, my name isn't. I saw it with my own two eyes. When you gave me a ride home and lectured on and lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story. You left without saying no. And I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami! Ah! Uh, trying to sympathize with me? No thanks. I've had enough of that. You threw me away. And there's nothing that can change that. No! Azami! Listen to me. I, I never threw you away. I, I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads, but I... Would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when a girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You, I'm sorry. I left you behind. I was planning on coming back to you when I'd saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster. Your eyes look like they did back then. Azami. Enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. That escalated quick. <laughs> okay, I thought so. I was like, wait, what? Wait, no, no. It's not over yet. Stop the credits. This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Who did that? Who started the ending scene there? Jeez. That's kind of amazing, Mr. Urushiara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Eddie. Yes, sir! Those who want to see others, those who want to be seen. This soothing mecca for all such people. Kodomi Cafe, Poco's Forest. What the fuck is going on? He next to the ch chattering birds. Curry Nick, uh, curry rice to die for. Is this a commercial now? What the fuck is going on? 
right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. And if you still haven't had your fill of aviary co avian company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Torimi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you. As of September 2011. Oh, why would you do that? Too soon, not really. 2011, 2001. Oh! Um, please check the website for more recent information. I shall be waiting here in my bird cage for you. Ending number. Oh, en was that the end? Carve it into your soul, kid. Love blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. Okay. God damn it. Carve it into your soul, kid. Love blaster. Achievement unlocked. Woohoo! All right. Well. That was, um, I think that was enough of that for this one. Uh, I helped two people fall in love. Woo! But, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at least one playthrough of this done, so until then, bye. Words, this game, but has tried. You're gonna be locked.